This is day 10 and 11 of doubling the particle count every day until my PC blows up. On day 10, we reached 512 particles and a new sim. Mars lands right into the earth, bouncing off it kinda. Watch the transition. Trust, this is why day 10 took like over a month. Day 11 and we finally have over a thousand particles. The moon is torn apart by tidal forces, forming tidal waves and rings for the earth. Alright, let's pick to one of these moonlets for me. This one's named Nubi, small moonlet in orbit. This one's dangerously close to the Roche limit, and while he gains mass, he's at risk of ripping apart. And there Nubi goes, ripped apart back into rings. Some of Nubi's matter hit this one moonlet, giving it more stable orbit around the Earth. Hmm. This moonlet Sphinx theory can safely gain mass over time. Let's speed this up until something crazy happens. Over the next few weeks, his orbit gets more circular, picking up other tiny moonlets of dust. Soon though, this moon will be ripping too. A moon's approaching. Moon approval comes in. And it collides with Sphinx, spinning around. Sphinx gets flung to the Roche limit. Approval survives and now has a wide and stable orbit. Let's be this up to see how approval develops. Approval merge with a cluster of three moonlets. It's not quite the roll. New merge is like daily. Another moon is coming. But it becomes a moon moon? This is like really rare, a moon having a moon. Especially with how close they are to the Earth. Well, Moon Moon the Wizard just got absorbed by Poobo. It's kinda like Vulcan now. Poobo's getting pretty big. And soon, you know, another moon will be able to kill him. Time for the aftermath. Our planet will be vastly different when it settles. Our planet's now a lifeless rock, tons of cracks, from the lava cooling to steep terrain. The tectonic plates have also all been destroyed. Like and comment what do you want to see next.